Welcome back on the channel, uh, Clément. How are you? Nice I'm to have fine. You. I'm a bit tired, but uh, in a good way. So this week, um, I worked on a plugin to uh, make it possible for a Giphy user from Giphy to export their network to the web to publish uh, the network they are working in in Giphy directly to to the internet to the web so that they can uh, visualize it in the browser and, um, mm. and explore it in the browser and share it uh, with just their link. Nice. So I did that all by myself in three days. Mm. No, actually, I want to stress that it was really, uh, you have multiple dimensions in such a project mm -hmm. and uh, I contributed to, to one part. So specifically, uh, when I arrived at the beginning of the week, what already existed was 90% uh, of, of the work, namely the, uh, the JavaScript library that allows anyone to visualize a network and explore a network on the web was already uh, developed and built and deployed by Alexis Jacomi and the Westware uh, team company uh, based in Nantes and uh, this, uh, the members of this team, Benoit, who was just mm -hmm. there right before me, they were there at the beginning of the week. So the, 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 the thing was already in place. Mm -hmm. The second thing that was immensely useful was um, a, a description by Alexi of all the steps needed to <laughs> create this plugin. And believe me, it's, you know, it's not straightforward because, um, because of the things I'm going to discuss. So when I arrived with this plugin, it was basically, you know, Clément, just follow the script. Mm. <laughs> uh, the things uh, are uh, laid out for you. Still, it took me the week to, to do it, uh, just to give you a sense of how do you spend five days on, on a plugin that in the end is just not that long to write. First day we were uh, on Monday, where all of us are uh, discussing the types of projects we wanted to, to do. So the first day well, I concluded with that, uh, developing this plugin. The second day, um, I was lost, uh, basically trying to create the plugin because I, I, I had completely forgotten how to do it. And I was unblocked on the Tuesday night. And then I started in earnest uh, on Wednesday. And then I took a way uh, out of the script that Alexi mm. had uh, written. I, I was thinking like, because the, the way the plugin is going to work is that you need a GitHub account. Uh, yeah. that's what the user is going to need to, to, to use the plugin. And I was thinking like, ah, can we skip this thing and just, you know, click on a button and the, the network is exported on the web and, and we save the user, you know, the board to just register or log into to GitHub. So I started developing that. And the interesting thing is that, yes, you can. And I did actually, but there are, there are security issues. If you just upload um, an XML file, which is the GXF format to the net on a server, which I own and I, that I would make available to the, the public. It's okay, but uh, you can have malicious intents and people could try and upload things that would break the server or hack the server. So it was much safer to go back to <laughs> what Alexi had uh, described in his ticket or issue which is that a user, sh uh, I mean, the plugin behind the scenes upload a GXF file to a GIST or GIST, which is this feature by GitHub that allows anyone to host files in a secure way on, on a GitHub server. That's what it does. And then once you have that, you can use Retina, which is again the, the solution developed by uh, Westware and Alexis Jacomi to uh, visualize the, the GXF. So I finished that yesterday night. And today as a cherry on the pie, uh, I was quite familiar on how to uh, localize uh, a Java application, uh, localize uh, meaning, uh, you know, translating the, and you did that by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> translating an app in, uh, in several languages. So I think Giphy supports a dozen languages. Yeah, at least. So this morning I, I um, I basically translated the, the plugin into uh, all the available languages on, on Gephi and, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to show you the English. But uh, so you are um, a Gephi user, you have this fancy graph. Wow. Yeah, it's like, wow. I want this on my website. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
but you want to share it with the world, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. How do you do that? So you could uh, save it as a JXF file and, and do things, but you are more lazy than that. A screenshot, maybe. Yeah, oh, with, a, enough. with a, a transparent background. And yeah, yeah, but not enough. Oh. I need so something more. What, could, <laughs> what you could do uh, uh, one day is install the plugin, and once it, it's installed, you go to File, Export, and because the plugin is installed, you're going to have an extra item in the menu, which is published to the web. Mm. So you click there. So let me move that. And you have uh, two tabs. The first one, you need it just once to set up uh, again all the login stuff. So I've done it already and it saves me you know, the case where it would be broken. It's supposed to work uh, beautifully, of course. And once you have done it in green, it tells you that, you know, it's already done. So uh, you can switch okay. to the publish tab. Uh, you have a warning. Of course, you shouldn't use that if the data you work with is confidential. So uh, it's obvious, but let's remind it. And now is the moment of truth. I have some Wi-Fi. Okay. So publish to the web. Experience. It works. So it's ugly. I should put the you know the carrot back to to the left yep but basically it has published right when i clicked it's not stage right it's completely right. live uh, yeah <laughs> it <laughs> has published the the network to this gist okay which is the gxf file and as you see it's the real one right it's it was okay. just the the small network i was working yep. on and back to giphy and it has so you could really use this gist by yourself, but as a convenience, it has also created the link oh, that nice. allows you to go directly on Retina by Westware. Ta-da! Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. And, and I think it's great because when you're there, you can use all the goodness that these guys have created. And, and uh, that will, I mean, that would be worse um, you know, video of itself, but there you have so many things you can do at this stage. It's not just visualization; it's yeah. exploration and, and more. So, yeah, that's it. Great. Alexis Jacomi is saying another issue is that we do not want people to use this to share illegal data. We do not want to moderate those files. I think it's about the fact that you have to go to take the GitHub uh, options, you know. And, yeah, that's related to the fact yeah. that um, using Gist as a hosting solution puts you, I mean, it gives you all the power of, of a huge company in terms of moderation, security, mm -hmm. uh, everything you, you miss when you are just a standalone, uh, you know, individual with, yeah, uh, with, your, uh, with your means. So does this replace the Sigma plugin explorer, uh, exporter from uh, before that was actually building a, a full website that you would publish? Here we are only uh, having uh, uh, the GXF and use uh, yeah. tools that use the GXF. <laughs> So I suppose there are several ways to answer this question. I suppose uh, Alexi would be the, the, the one in the best position as, as the author to, of the Sigma and Retina. Um, so I think the way it was portrayed in the initial um, uh, roadmap is as, as an update to the Sigma exporter. But as you just pointed out, it's an update that transforms a bit uh, what it was. So maybe Alexi would be happy to comment on the yeah on the reasoning behind that. Is the viewing site using an enhanced version of GEXF JS? Yeah, I think that GEXF JS might be the plugin that was developed by, by Raphael Veld. So, so the answer is no, right? No, no, it's not using GEXF.js behind the scenes. It's an evolution of Sigma GS, but Alexi, who's speaking next, can give us all the details. There are answers in the chat. Uh, Retina is based on Sigma GS, and we use the GIFX parser from Graphology. Oh man, but I'm very happy this is being developed. <laughs> I think this is going to uh, go over well with the overall Gephi community. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm pretty. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> Ready to maintain it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. On record, I am. Before I leave, and I suppose everybody, everybody is in the same position, but I got a lot of help from Mathieu Bastien. Uh, so I just want to recognize that I was stuck at multiple times in, on complicated matters. So uh, as a community during this week, uh, we helped each other a lot. 